John Betjeman, the British Port Laureate, spent some time living in Ireland. I think it was probably in the 40s. And he, he wrote a number of poems about Ireland, about Irish people. And I love the rhythm of his poems. They're very accessible. They're very descriptive. They're frankly very enjoyable. This is called Ireland with Emily. Bells are booming down the boreens, white the mist along the grass. Now the Julias, the Maves and the Maureens move between the fields to mass. Twisted trees of small green apple guard the decent whitewashed chapel. Gilded gates and doorways grained, pointed windows richly stained with many-coloured Munich glass. See the black-shawled congregations on the broidered vestment gaze. Murmur past the painted stations as thy sacred heart displays. Lush Kildare of scented meadows, Roscommon thin in ash tree shadows, and west meath the lake reflected. Spreading leek slip, the hill protected, kneeling all in silver haze. Sunny seaboard far and foreign, stony hills poured over space, stony outcrop of the burren, stones in every fertile place. Little fields with boulders dotted, grey stone shoulders saffron spotted. Stone-walled cabins thatched with reeds where a Stone Age people breeds, the last of Europe, Stone Age race. Has it held, this warm June weather, draining shallow sea pools dry, when we bicycled together down the boreens, fuchsia high, till there arose, abrupt but lonely, a ruined abbey, chancel only, lichen crusted, time befriended, soared the arches, splayed and splendid, Romanesque against the sky. There, in pinnacled protection, one extinguished family awaits a Church of Ireland resurrection by the broken, rusty gates. Sheep's wool, straw and droppings cover, graves of spinster, rake and lover, whose fantastic mausoleum sings its own sea-blown te deum in and out the slipping slates. Ireland with Emily by John Betjeman. Part of our shared history.